Okay, let's check our work. For the share and show, it says draw counters in the groups to find 18 divided by 9. All right, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 groups, which is good because 9 is my divisor. And I need to put 18 counters. So I have 9 already. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. How many counters do I have in each group? Two. Explain how you would use factors to find 18 divided by 9. Well, if you wanted to do 18 divided by 9, you need to know the factors of 9. Remember we've discussed factors of 9? Our factors of 9 are 1 and 9 and 3 times 3. Those are our factors. So if I wanted to do this, I would do 18 divided by 3 equals 6. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. 2 is my answer. Okie dokie, that's how I would use factors. If you did that, kudos to you. Extra points coming your way. Let's find the quotient. And remember, before I said you could use um, fact families, factors, or groups to find your missing quotient. If you didn't have enough space on here, that's okay. You can always use your journal. So here we go. 45 divided by 9 equals 5. Because 5 times 9 is 45. How about 9 divided by 9? Any number divided by itself is 1. That's a rule that we had to learn. How about 36 divided by 9? Well, I know that 9 times 4 is 36. And then I have 54 divided by 9. I know that 9 times 6 is 54. So those are your answers for that. And now let's do some completions of tables. We are dividing by 8 on this one. 24 divided by 8. 40 divided by 8. 32 divided by 8, and 48 divided by 8. Those are your answers. Over here, 54 divided by 9, 45 divided by 9, 72 divided by 9, and 63 divided by 9. Hmm. Do you see a pattern over here? I kind of do. 63, the tens place is one less than the answer. So 6 is less, one less than 7. The tens place is one less than the answer. The tens place is one less than the answer. The tens place is one less than the answer. How cool is that? Just a pattern that I saw, figured I'd point it out. But you got to love the nines. The nines are fun. Remember, you have your strategies for your multiplication tables. Now you have strategies you can use for division. On the next two pages, you are going to work out some problems explaining how you are getting your answer as you go. Make sure you take your time. Write out a thoughtful answer that makes sense. If you get stumped, give me a holler. You have strategies to choose from. Things like using groups, using your multiplication table, using factors, Using your multiplication fact families, you could draw an array, you could use a number line, whatever helps you get to the correct answer for division. Make sure you're using your anchor chart that's in your journal. Uh, go ahead and complete your math for today. I look forward to seeing how you're doing with division by.